Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Time to keep going and see what we can find. Here comes the Hoppos. We need to use our badge a little bit more because we haven't used that a ton. And being out of glide is just going to be super helpful. Also, these Hoppos, we can knock around. And we can get them to give us stuff, basically. Like, we can knock them into this hole and we can use it as a, a trampoline, basically. Just gotta be careful how we knock them around and all that. So I don't run into more trouble. Although now we've got these two here. And if that one bounces up into there, I think. Or maybe I'm crazy. I think we can get them all, yeah, into these holes, which is really cool. No hole left behind. As everyone knows. <laughs> I mean, it bounces it back, back that way, but that's okay. Because if it bounces up that way, we can get up here. It also is also possible to. Oh my goodness, it bounced us so high. It's also possible to get stuck underneath that one there, so you've got to be careful. Oh. I missed. messed up. It's fine. Getting all the blue coins. Nice. I don't know how I messed it up so much and got it still. Also, it's really cool the way that you use the, the shell for that as well. If you do get stuck underneath this, this uh, hoppo in multiplayer though, you can also, um, in online, or in multiplayer, you can get somebody to revive you, which would be the way to go. I feel like there's a pin block here, but I don't think there is. I'm just gonna be cautious of finding those, because I'm sure they'll be somewhere. Oh, nice. Fantastic. Excellent. One-up. Nice. We've got so many hits on that that we got a one-up from it. If we get enough enemies in a row by something, we got a one-up. That's all you need to know. Oh, bubble. Where is it? Those are actually quite tricky, especially later on. At least in my experience, they are. Thank you for the coins. Oh, we can also throw the shell up, which is really cool. Which allows us to get up here. Get that there. Ten coins. We actually had to use that shell. Get up here. Uh, just like that, I guess. Let's keep going. Knock some of these around. Oh my goodness. Ah! Getting attacked. Assaulted. Nice. Oh, Wonderflower, right. Here we go. Oh my goodness, there are so many. We've also got limited time, so we need to go. Oh my goodness, big, big. I want those coins, though. Flat coins will be important to grab. Also, Wonder Seed. Come on. Need to bounce up high. Got it, nice. Just like that. I think we've got everything now, so we just need to get to the end, which I think is right here, so let's go ahead and bounce over that to victory. Very nice. I love, like, the course clear, like, stuff on the top of the bottom of the screen there as well. It's, it's There's so many good small features, good small designs. Got an extra level. Usually if you see a little ring of flowers on the ground, it means that there's a hidden level of some kind. Break time. One of token tunes. Just a little fun level. Good music. Classic. All we have to do is grab all the tokens and we're down here. But also the music is good, so I want to take my time, basically. Love that sound. <laughs> Love that sound too. It's so cool. You definitely want to, don't want to go through this, these levels too quickly. 
If they're, if they're designed for enjoyment, you might as well enjoy them. There we go. Let's also take a, take a look at this over here. Say hello. Welcome. Hi there. Here at this pop at, at the Poplin shop, we sell everything and we accept flower coins as payment. So we can buy a few things here. For one thing, we can buy a new badge, which will give us more coins for defeating enemies. So let's buy that. If you don't buy it here, it will be available later on as well. But here's the first time we get an opportunity to buy it, so we might as well. We can also get a Wonder Seed here. Which is required to get 100% from this shop specifically. We can also get some extra lives if we need it. Get a 1-up mushroom or 5 1-up mushrooms, which this is a good deal because you get 5 purple, um, flower coins off. If you get this one instead of the other one. 5 times, basically. There's also a stand standy surprise. Buy one of these to get a standy at random. It's a surprise every time. The standees are like checkpoints that you can place in levels for other people to use. I think you can use it yourself, but I don't think I ever have. It's primarily for multiplayer and online play stuff. And I think it's mostly online, so. But let's go ahead and buy one of those. And it'll just give us a random one out of the 144. And there's a whole bunch for all the characters. Let me see if I can find the menu for that. I'm gonna try using a different badge. No, I'm good. Because if I can find it, please. Menu. Standees. There's so many. Like, so many. Each character has their own section for standees. And whenever we buy one from this shop, it's a random. And also means that it's, it could be one that we've already collected, so... It'll take a lot of purple coins to get all of them. If we want to get them all. So we'll leave that for the moment. We have... need, need to save some... Coins for later, probably. Ah, uh, but let's go this way. This rock fell here. Oh, it's terrible! This rock fell here because of that awful Bowser! I'd smash it if I could, but it's just so huge. If I only had 10 flower coins, they could- they give us poplins an energy boost. Here you go. Thank you! Now I've got some oomph in my bloom. I'll break this rock in no time. Hey rock! Stop blocking our path! And it was so. I broke the rock of that bloom of oomph you gave me. Please go through. Another reason to be saving up our flower coins. We have a whole area here to explore. Also a hidden purple coin. Those are also around. If you just walk around, you just f sometimes find hidden items. Or mostly just flower coins. Some regular coins too. But it's good to look around. You can adjust the controls by pressing plus and opening the settings. Well, we don't need to do that. We can customize controls for actions like dashing or ground pounding if you want to. Also turn off, uh, turn motion controls on or off. Change how you access badges after losing a life and more. Some helpful stuff, but we don't need to worry about it. Instead, let's go to the Roller Cooper Derby. Difficulty two stars. This should be interesting. It's it's got some Cooper Troopers on roll skates, which is really cool. I'm gonna mess them up now. They are messed up. Also, a hidden block. I didn't even know that was there, I don't think. Anyway, let's go back because I'm pretty sure I'm missing some stuff already. So let's jump back up this way. I saw a little bit of a uh, flower up here. So let's activate that. And get an extra pro uh, flower coin. Seems good. Anything here? Oh, hello. I think this takes us to a secret area. In the sky. Four to go. I'm assuming that's enemies then? Oh, yes, it is. Works for me. I don't think you're supposed to use your fire flower for that. But that's okay. I think what you're actually supposed to do is actually go underneath the block here and hit it to knock these into them. Which makes a lot more sense. But anyway. Whatever way works for you. Everything's valid. Also, hello. Whole bunch of things here that we can interact with. That's where we were. If we walk through these, the coins appear. Also, I want that. 
Give me the flower coin. But this handle here, if we're holding the run button, I believe, we can pull it out and get some stuff from it. And we're gonna have to keep that in mind for later with all the things we can grab onto. Also, there's an area up here. And then you can't get any shut eye around here. Just a nice little secret at the top of the screen. Okay, there's the checkpoint, but I'm gonna try and get these things underneath first, I feel like. It's probably nothing, but still. Okay, checkpoint. Very nice. I'm gonna grab this flower coin. There seems to be a, quite a few enemies around us. We need a shell, so let's grab that. Very nice. And there's the last 10 coin, nice. So that should be everything, except for the Wonder Flower. Which I think is around here. So let's get up here. Grab that. And there we go. Also love this song as well. Which is for the Wonder Flower. We have these invisible platforms around. We need to get all of the flower tokens. You should keep going. Go going where? This way? There we go. I see now. I think some more paths open up as we get the flower tokens as well. Got two. Three. I don't think we have to worry about the order of them at the top of the screen too much. Ow! It's fine. Thank you for the fire flower. Purple coin block. That one's slightly hidden on the side of the screen, but we got it. Love these hidden platforms. Oh boy, I didn't see. It's fine. I'm gonna grab that. Grab those. Also, I can em I can emote apparently by pressing X. Also, what's up this way? I think it's nothing, probably. Nothing at the moment, anyway. Let's go back down for the token. Grab that. And now the one seeds at the top of the tree. Also love the moon there. We appreciate the moon. Oh boy. I need to be careful when I jump. A lot more careful. But there we go. I'm falling! Falling! Oh, I'm fine. I don't know how, but it's fine. Be gone. Oh, star power. Okay. I missed a few, but it's fine. Well, so there's the end. So let's glide into that, and we're done. There's so many cool things. <laughs> and, the, and getting the Wonder Seed at the end of the level was very satisfying. A lot more satisfying than it just being the end. Basically. Looks like some of those purple coins re respawned, but not all of them. Also, there's a little hidden area back here. Let's open that. Hidden pipe. Whoa, hello. I don't even think I found this before. What have you? Quite the surprising place to run into someone, huh? I was busy exploring, searching for treasure, and next thing I knew, I got caught in a blizzard. I didn't find much treasure, but the view is sure is pretty, huh? Oh right, during that blizzard, 50 flower coins came flying right at me. I hope they'll help you out there on your adventure- on your own adventure. Thank you, Captain Toad. Goodbye. Enjoy your adventure. Let's have a look at maybe this break time. Pop up hopo. So we've got hoppo involved. What's actually gonna happen there? Oh, we have to move them around. Okay, it's like a puzzle. Except I'm bad at the puzzle. Nice, there we go. That's really cool. That's the whole thing, but we have to I just I just love the uh, all of the levels. <laughs> Basically, nothing hidden here. Cool. Let's go. That 
that was satisfying. <laughs> Just doing that. There's only, uh, no difficulty <laughs> puzzle, I guess. It was just there to teach us about stuff, I guess. Anything of respawn? Or is it just coins? Just coins, okay. Badge challenge. Parachute cap one. One star difficulty. So we're locked in to using this parachute badge. And we have to get to the end of the challenge. So let's go. Float while in midair. Also, oh, these are red ones, the red talking flowers. Also, there's a coin that we need to get. Thank you. Come on, no, I missed the top level. I think I need to be on the top level. Probably shouldn't have dropped so far. Or maybe I have to go back from this way, possibly. There's that now. But I want to go back and get this, if I can. You can I think you can land up here if you do it well enough, but I did not. So it really expects you to get good quickly. There we go. Getting good at this. Oh no. No. That's better. There we go. Wonderful. Gonna have to practice more, because I did that bad, but it's okay. I think I did it better than my first time playing it though, because I'm pretty sure I had a few times where I was falling into the pit and had to wall jump off of the wall and then glide back onto another platform. So I'm gonna take that as a win. Purple coin, nice. Also, I'm saying purple coin, but they're cold flower coins, but they're also are uh, just purple coins, which is cool. I feel like I'm missing something, but I think it's fine. <laughs> I think it's fine. I don't think I actually am missing anything. I think it's just a feeling. But anyway, we have way more than enough water seeds now to progress. So let's progress. Also, I do like how it's got like the little castle pet towers next to it to indicate that it's like a checkpoint in the world. Wiggler race. Mountaineering. We gotta go fast. Hold Y and move to dash. Reach the goal before the regular. Racing regular. Also gives us a free power up if we need to. Messed up the start, but it's okay. And take the boost. Skipping that. Going slow. I think it's faster to just run. Possibly. Taking the high road. I'm definitely taking the lead now. Oh boy, it's fine. Going good. I bad? Okay. Just don't die, that's the only thing I need to worry about. I should have gone down. I should have gone down. Slide. Go. And win. That was closer than it should have been. But there we go. 56 seconds. That was fun. We did it! We won a regular race! A Flower Kingdom specialty! Wiggler was nice enough to give us an auto mushroom badge to celebrate your victory. It's really a really great badge. It triggers the effects of a mush super mushroom when you start a course. Want me to wear it? Uh, not right now. Actually, maybe you do, since we're small at the moment. Basically, it's a badge. We, we can only wear one badge at a time. But if we put this badge on, it means we can start level as powered up with a mushroom. Oh no! 
They've even managed to take over the palace here. There's a special treasure kept there known that's known as a royal seed. We've got to do something before they use it for some evil purpose. Well, we'll get to that, but first I'm going to do some extra things first. Also, this is a bad challenge, so I probably shouldn't do that immediately because I'll, I won't get the mushroom that I want. Not that I really need the mushroom, but I kind of want it. See the stars? Have you been keeping an eye on the star ratings on each course? Course with higher star ratings can be really challenging, but if you're feeling confident, go for it. Thank you for the help. I feel like there's a hidden coin somewhere. There it is. How about the other side? Nope. But there is also a hidden pipe back here. With Captain Toad. Quite the surprising place to run into someone, huh? I was searching for treasure and then I started wondering. Is anyone searching for me? I'm completely lost. Anyway, where are we? Do you know? Oh, I almost forgot. I found 50 flower coins. Maybe you can make use of them on your adventure. I'm rooting for you. Thank you, Captain Toad. Now we can do some stuff. Oh boy. I guess I wouldn't need the badge if I did that one, so I'm going to do a different one first. Swamp Pipe Crawl. Here we go. We can also change badge on this screen, which is good. If we need to quickly do that before we start level. Or when we respawn, basically. This is a lot of snails. Also, they're going up and down on the background wall, which is cool. Can't do anything there. But I think if we knock this shell that way, we can push the pipe around. Which is really cool. Be gone. Also, hang on. No, I wonder if that's a good spot for making stuff. If that makes any sense. One-ups. I think we can push this off here, though. Nothing. Okay, cool. <laughs> There's a few puzzles involved with pushing the pipes around, so we need to do that just right. Like right here, if we get on there. Activates this, connects with this pipe here, and we can actually go down. Just like that. Also, these enemies are directly designed for pushing around stuff, so we have to deal with that now. Also, if I had my glide badge, I might be able to get up there, but I don't think I can, so it's fine. Let's go review. Get all that. I think we want to get this out of the way so we can get in that pipe there, going down. Very nice. That's just so cool that we can actually move these around. Thank you. Ow! That's not how you want to do that. Also, it's respawning. Careful, 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 careful. Very careful. So careful. Take the flower coin. They just keep coming. The snails, they're gonna get us all. It's like that one snail that if it catches you, you die. Also, another hidden block. What? How have I found so many of these? Also, it gives you so much. I didn't even... I didn't even realize that the Yoshi block was so good. I have saved you. Um, they are just everywhere. I don't know where they're coming from. I did that bad. It's fine. How am I doing it this bad? It's fine. Just give me a moment. Okay. That's a scary thing to do, though. Let me just see if I can do this correctly here. Okay, seems good. I think we want to push this over this way, onto this pipe. Like that. Get a flower. Makes the rest of the pipes. Cool. Also, I love the star pattern on these pipes as well. It's really cool. This whole place is really cool, so I think those things in the background... Like, this whole thing looks like pipes, which is really cool. The design is just amazing. Anyway, I think we want to push this over to here. So we can push this one over that to get to there. And there's the Wonder Flower. Activates automatically. Oh boy. This is fine. I don't know. 
Just don't panic and everything will be fine. Also, poison. <laughs> See, he said it too. It must be true. Oh my goodness. I just love that the things in the background have eyes now. This is really cool. Cool, wacky, and weird. Oh my goodness. Pipe. Nice. Got a 10 coin. Any hidden block? Nope. Take the power up just for good luck. I think it actually gave me a purple coin for that. A flower coin. Jump. It's fine. Everything's fine. And there's the Wonder Seed. So let's grab that. How much area do we skip by doing that? I mean, we don't have anything. We didn't miss anything, apparently. We just have these platforms that go down. These pipes that fall. So that's a thing. I think I need to hit that other one over there to make the other pipe fall down to get across that. It's fine. Guess it must have been. And there's the end. Very nice. Glad I didn't have to deal with the platforms falling. Sinking into the poison. But there we go. Nice. Hidden coins. But let's have a look at this now. A KO Arena. Pipe Rock Rumble. These are interesting, especially because of what's inside. Because the first room is just a whole bunch of these pipes that also give us power-ups. Some of them are blocked with corks, as you can see in the bottom left there. So they don't, don't give us all the power-ups, but they do, do just give us free power-ups. So if we do this and then leave, we can get some good power-ups. But we do have to actually complete the level to keep whatever we get here. We can't just get in, grab power-ups and leave. But it's pretty much simple enough to just get them anywhere. Defeat them and keep going. Defeat all the enemies to open each gate. If you can do it quickly, there'll be extra rewards waiting. You can tackle this challenge solo or join up with friends. We have to beat all the enemies fast enough to get all the purple 10 coins from this. So we've got to go fast. And I believe I've cut it like to the last second before in one of these challenges. So, let's go. Go, go fast. Very nice. On to the next challenge. It's one out of three done. And I think we have about 90 seconds for this, or maybe less than that, possibly. Okay, walking piranha plants. This is a little bit tricky because I have to actually either attack them or hit the blocks. There's also some shells we could use for this at the bottom of the screen. If I do it right. Want to go? Very nice. Okay, go, 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 go. It might be more like, I don't know, 60 seconds? It's different for each challenge as well, so. Just gotta do a little bit of that because I think that will work. This one up here is gonna be a problem because I need to move it. But we might be able to just attack it like that. There we go. Okay, to the end. That might be the best attempt at that I've ever had. How do we go? Okay, 70 was the longest we could take, I think. Or well, no, 180 was the one we could take the longest on. Under se under no, 70 because it, uh, after 70 seconds we wouldn't have been able to get that coin. It's fine. Anyway, we did it and we're fine, and we get a wonder seed. I've cut it way too close on one of these though, because there are multiple of these arenas. But there we go. 23 Wonder Seeds now. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.